Oh my goodness, you guys. I think I found one of my new favorite places in this world. It's the butterfly garden. I spent a long time building this and making videos in like a long play form where I just straight up just build and did very little editing. But it is done and it's beautiful. I love just coming in here and watching and looking at the butterflies. It's so cute and pretty. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness. So right now this place is housing four different butterflies. One of each type that I've found so far. And I did do a poll on my community page on my channel to vote to see uh, which ones were your guys' favorite. And the Swallowtail one won. So we're going to add one more butterfly to this collection of butterflies for a total of five and maybe we'll add more over time and see how it goes and i need a name for her what should this butterfly be named i want to add her to the garden and name her something very special for now i guess i'll just call her queen <laughs> the queen butterfly uh the one that has won the pool um but we'll just name up oh. hi how does typing work Hello? <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Queen Butterfly. Uh, we're going to name her. So if you guys know what I should officially name her, you can leave a comment down in the comment section below. But we're going to release her into the beautiful butterfly garden. Oh, there's a bird. Hi, bird. We should build a bird aviary too. Something similar like this for different birds to just fly around and enjoy and relax. Oh my goodness, so many ideas. I'm so excited to play in this world. So there you go, Queen Butterfly. Enjoy the butterfly garden. Oh my gosh, guys. Love it. <laughs> Love it. It's great. Look at them go. It's so special. Oh my goodness. So last episode, I installed the World Utilities add-on, which is awesome. It has Omni Tool and Multi Block Tools. Multi Block Tool is my favorite. We have Vein Miner and Tree Catapitator, which is awesome. I love using it. It just makes everything so nice. It's so it's gonna be so good for building and playing in this world. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and head over to the Puppy Bunker and name a special puppy today one of you guys left me a suggestion down in the comment section so we're gonna go ahead and add a new puppy i think you i think it is you come here little guy i also should remember to dye the different colors i don't think i have anything that i can really dye right now so here's my book of pet names and we're gonna add maggie maggie into our world so thank you so much uh, S -S 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 <laughs> 007 uh, for your name suggestion and if you want to name an animal in my world just leave a comment down below uh, what type of animal you'd like you can just say anything or if you have a specific type of species you would like me to name uh, you can let me know so Maggie Maggie, welcome! Uh, hi! Welcome to the Puppy Bunker! So exciting! Oh my goodness. So we're gonna go back uh, to the area that we were in last episode where we found the amethyst crystals. We found the geodes! And I saw some really interesting things over there. And I'm gonna go and explore some more with you guys. I was so tempted to um, when I was playing and I was like, no, 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 no. I want to show new discoveries with you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and go sleep first. And then we can head back on over. And I think I might need one of these. We're just going to take one just in case. A brush, because I think there might be an archaeology site where we're going. So that is so awesome. And I think maybe also a water breathing potion. I think I have some already made. In this little house this was actually the first house my starter house in this world that i made uh last summer <laughs> when i originally started this world there were no add-ons or mods or anything and i was just playing straight vanilla and this was the very first house that i built right here <laughs> uh, but right now it's just kind of like where i make different different stuff and potions and stuff so we got our water breathing potion we'll take oh, we'll take well I'll just take three of those why not and i think that's all we need hi little kitty hello unnamed little kitty how are you uh so let's go i actually have like a pathway now that leads us to the 
the amethyst shards or the the geode that I took over. <laughs> I uh, collected most of the supplies, but left the little shards or the budding areas so I can go in there and collect more shards over time. I think that'll be pretty awesome. Oh, Trash Panda! Trash Panda, how are you? He's inside checking out his new trash cans. Let's see, I see him a little bit. Let's see if I can see him. I'm oh, there's a dude down there too. Hi, dude. Dude, Trash Panda, do you have visitors over? Should I say hello first? He has some visitors. Hospitality. Do we have any gifts? I don't I don't think so. We do have emeralds in our under chest if we need to do any trading. Well, let's go ahead and hello, is this your friend? Trash Panda, who is this? Oh, sir, ma'am. Hello. Uh oh, oh it's okay. Oh, why are you so Is this how the others escaped? <laughs> Climbing up this. Uh, what do you have? Oh, you got cherry sapling, pickles. Blue eyes. Mm, it, blue eyes. Blue eyes is the rare one, right? I think so. I usually will buy like a lot of the rare trades from the wandering traders, just because I know in the future it'll be nice to have a little collection stored up. But we'll just we'll just buy a couple of those. Why not? If you're a trash panda's friend, then you're my friend too. Oh, okay. I thought this wasn't my silk touch pick for a second. But it is. Alright, Trash Panda. Oh! Oh, you thiefin! You are a thiefin! Did you find something from the chest? And you got it from your thiefin! Yes, that's right! The pandas will actually steal or thiefin take items from chests and barrels. Oh my gosh, Trash Panda, that's cool. Did he teach you how to thief your friend? I don't I don't know if your friends are a good association. <laughs> oh no. Alright. But Trash Panda, I hope you enjoy. And we'll go and look at the pathway that takes us to the Amethyst Shards. And there is the beach. Hi, Flamingo. And then right there is where I came out because I just like pillaged straight up. Because I wanted to, uh, to see where we were and if it was easier just to pillage straight up to get back here. So we're going to go ahead and break these, and I'm going to fill that up with some of the scaffoldings, because I did fill a lot of it, the area up, but I ran out of scaffolding. So I want to add some more. And we have found our little crystals. So cute. I want to do something awesome with this area. Um, Maybe make some type of area for some type of animal that really likes the amethyst shards. I think that would be pretty cool. But we can go ahead and collect some of these to get the crystals. And then we can also use our silk touch to get the different sizes. Because I think they make for really, really pretty decorations. I do have other geodes that I've already found in this world. But I think this one is actually maybe the closest one to where we have everything our main base of operations going on so that's pretty cool but let's head back up to the water and yesterday when i made this i came out here and i saw that there were some crabs which is awesome so we can go ahead and collect some more crabby friends and i also saw there was an archaeology site over there that i want to check out hopefully it's not one that i've already found like like a long time ago um but i'm excited that hello what's wait we saw a creature. It's a whale! Oh my gosh, I did not see you yesterday. Where did you come from? Hey, tried it, friend. No. No, no, no. Where do bows? I'm going to use my bow. Use my bow. I'm going to have to take my water breathing potion pretty soon. There we go. I wonder if we should build... Uh, what's it called? The thing with the heart of the sea. The conduit? I wonder if we should build one of those over here. So we can breathe underwater really easy. Um, there you go. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Uh, yeah, we definitely need... Oh, whale, can you help me? <laughs> can you just, like, eat them? Can you just eat them, please? Uh, we're going to take a water potion just so we don't have to worry about it. Because I don't want to drown. Because there's all these drown and there's, there's too many drowns already. We don't want to drown. Um, let's see if we can get rid of these guys. There we go. <gasps> whale! You're beautiful. Look at this whale. Under the sea. <laughs> oh my goodness, this whale. That is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. There's also a bunch of tropical fish here. 
That's so cool. We can swim under here. There's a lot of badness. Yeah, I think if I put a conduit down here, it'll be safer to swim around too, because I think you get conduit power or something like that. I don't know. I haven't made that in a long time, like years, guys. It's so cool to come back to Minecraft and you haven't really played in a long time. And then you start remembering like some cool stuff that you can do. And you're like, wait, can I do that? I think so. Uh, but let's go over here and be an archaeologist today and see if we can find some suspicious sand. We do already have sniffers in this world, but I think it'd still be fun to see what we can find. And I brought the little brushy so we can see if there's anything suspicious. And hopefully this isn't one that I found a long time ago and we can still find. Uh, oh, there's one! <gasps> Pottery shards! Yes! I need I need a lot more of these shards because I've just been making pots that are... Oh, angler! I don't think you even have that one yet. I've just been making like the blank pots around the world because I don't really have a lot of shards. So yes, if we can get more shards, I think that would be pretty awesome. Definitely something that we need for decoration purposes. And we're going to get some wheat. <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice, delicious, soggy wheat. Just exactly what I want. And let's see if there's anything hidden under here. And there is another... Oh, there's there's two little areas over here. That's cool. Oh, there's three. There's three more over there. This one looks like there's like a little house over here or something. Hi. What's going on here? Anything suspicious? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Is it under here? No. Oh my goodness. It's a jellyfish. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Guy. Guy. Chill out. Jellyfish. We found a whale. Now we found jellyfish. Wait, what are you? You're just a tropical fish. Jellyfish! Jellyfish! Dolphins and jellyfish. I think I read in the book before. I think we could pick them up in buckets, right? Oh, we're gonna test it out. I want jellyfish. I want... I want jellyfish. <gasps> wait, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. What if we turn the amethyst shard area into like a giant fish tank for for jellyfish i think that'd be cool amethyst shards do they actually do they grow underwater i think it should should be fine right oh my gosh we need jellyfish we need jellyfish oh hi heidi oh my little kitty's over here usually it's teddy but heidi's over here hi heidi hi little sweetie she is such a shy quiet funny little girl Heidi, oh, I love her. Well, let's see if we can find that jellyfish. Jellyfish fields. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh no. Where did the jellies go? Well, if there was one, there's got to be more, right? We'll find it. We got some buckets ready at least, and we can look for some more suspicious sand. Oh, I see one. I see one. It's a green one. It's a green one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Bucket of small green jellyfish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That looks so cool in the bucket. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I'm suspicious sand too. This is a very good arch archaeology site. And what do we got? What is that? Uh, looks like... A very, very old, ancient tool. Very interesting. Ooh, I see one. I see another one. It's a little yellow one. I need you. I need you, little jellyfish. So cute. Yes. We need all of the different colors. What is that? Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Octopus? Could I put an octopus in a bucket? I don't think so. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. Hello. You, no, you don't fit in a bucket, but you're pretty awesome. Look at you. I wonder if there's a way, I wonder if we can put them on leads or anything. Because I'm just thinking of ways of, like, how do I get these creatures in different places? <laughs> Let's see, do I have, I do have some leads in here. Let's grab one and see if I can lead this octopus. 
or not? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, no. But hmm, we'll have to think about ways that we can collect a little octopus or something. Because <laughs> look how cool he is. Look at you, buddy. So cool. Oh my goodness, look at you, little guy. So cute. You're our blue jellyfish. Excuse me, I'm trying to be happy and excited about jellyfishing, sir or madame. Get out of here. This is no place for you. Actually, it's probably the perfect place for you. <laughs> uh, there's a crab over there, too. Let's see if we can go ahead and get this crab and take you back home, too. Come here, little crab. Oh. There we go. We got the crab. Oh, and my water breathing is running out. Let's go ahead and take another one. We came prepared. Perfect. And some more suspicious sand. I think, yes, it is. Okay. And it looks like it's a very ancient old tool. Oh, and this one's got an emerald in it. Pretty nice. There we go. And my inventory is full of, of ancient artifacts and jellyfish. <laughs> oh, little pink jellyfish. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. And I think there's bigger jellyfish too. I think, oh, and there's a little, little one right there. We gotta get rid of this, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, another jelly. Another jellyfish. Perfect. We already got, we got one of you already, but we can have another one. That'll be very nice. But yeah, as I was saying, I think there's actually bigger jellyfish, too, that we can find. Uh, but right now, we are finding a bunch of little baby jellyfish. Little, little small ones, which is great. I love them. And some more suspicious stuff. Looks like there's another ancient emerald under here. And we got, oh, a sniffer egg. We already have sniffers in this world, but it's still very exciting to find a little sniffer egg. I wonder if we should make like a museum of the different artifacts that we find. Like I know, like we found this wooden hoe and this diamond iron axe which is you know not really worth anything but maybe it'll be fun to make little exhibits for uh little things that we find on our adventures like that i don't know what do you guys think <laughs> should we uh you know put put these in item frame and be excited about finding a wooden hoe and there's another one right here oh yes another pottery shard which one's this this one looks like is it the same one that we found i think so Yep, we found the angler one. I'll have to make that one because I'm not sure if I found that before today. Oh wow, there's a bunch of stuff right here, I think. Yes, more ancient money. Someone over here was rich. Dropping all of their- oh, was it you? <laughs> Did you drop all of your, of your ancient emeralds down in here? There we go, get rid of you guys. Trying to do some archaeology hunting. There we go. And let's continue. Ancient money. Yes, please. And let's see. Another shard. Yes. I need them. I think it's... Is it the same one? It's the same one. Okay. Very interesting. There must have been fisher people that used to live here or something. And some soggy ancient wheat. Very interesting. And... Oh, there's more. Yes, there's so much over here. This is so cool. Which one is this? What is... Is that another shard? No, another ancient wooden hoe. We'll put that away. Put you guys away. Put our jellyfish safely away in that bucket right there. And we have another... What is that? Another wooden hoe. More soggy wheat. And another sniffer egg. Little sniffer baby. Ancient sniffer egg. Hidden away. And I think, yeah, there's a couple more over here. Oh, another sniffer egg. Yes. More wheat. And another wooden hoe, it looks like. And more wheat. Lots and lots of wheat. Lots of soggy, frosted mini weeds. Oh, another one over here. I almost missed that one, but it looks like it's just wheat. <laughs> but maybe we can have a little wheat area in a museum somewhere and be like, hey, we found this ancient wheat over here. 
And I think that's all of them that were in this area. Oh, I think I think I just saw another little jellyfish. Little de jellyfish. Little yellow guy. We're gonna get you. Yes, we got him. Oh no, it's a little water kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, I think I have some collars in my inner chest. Oh, let me see. And yes, perfect. Come here, kitty. We will rescue you from the water. There you go, little kitty. Let's take you to a dry area and get her, get her under chest too. Oh my gosh. I think, I think I found it. So I went back <laughs> and I was like, I'm missing a stroker box. And here it was. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I found it and it didn't despawn because I think I have some jellyfish in there and some other goodies, but... Alright, let's go ahead and gather up this XP, and I'm so happy I found my shulker box. Hello, Ileana and Amora. How are you, little kitty? We need a name for you, little capybara. And you are the kitty that we found in the water, and I think I'm actually going to name you Jelly, because we found you when we found our very first jellyfish in this world. And I think Jelly would be a nice name for you. Jelly! <laughs> Let's go ahead and name you, little one. And I think I'll give you a yellow collar because I need to start remembering to give different color collars to our different animals that we find. But I'm very curious. Yeah, should we make a museum with ancient artifacts that we find during those dig sites? And I want to... Let's see, I got one name tag in here. I want to see what happens if we name a jellyfish in a bucket because i know sometimes it works in java if you just name the bucket that it'll name the animal that's inside so i guess we'll go ahead and see i'm gonna name oh oh no no jellyfish i'm so sorry oh no i need the water i need the water okay let's be careful <laughs> okay uh i guess we'll just name uh what should we name you uh we'll name you um Sarah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we'll name you Sarah and see if we put you down. Uh, we'll put you in this tank and see if you keep your name or if we need to use a name tag on you because I'm not too sure. So we'll do an experiment now and see uh, if we... Oh, I didn't replace, didn't replace that glass that was right there. <gasps> Wait! Oh no! Our fish that were in here are gone. Wait, is that because I had an open... Oh no, what happened to our fish that were in here? Wait, does that mean our other fish are gone too? That we have in our fish tanks over there? I'm not sure. Um, I guess let's see if you have a name. It doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, you do. You're Sarah. Okay, Sarah. <laughs> Hello. Um, the fish that were in here before... Oh wait, no, they're not. Wait. Who are you? Oh wait, are you our little otter friend that we had? Did you eat- <gasps> Did you eat our fish that were in here? Did they do that? I think... Um... I don't- I don't know if they do. But I don't think I want to leave you in here because I don't know if you will... Will die. <laughs> Did you eat all the fish that were in here? Little otter, were you hungry? Uh, do they eat the fish? I don't even know. Uh... Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see if we can get you to come out because... I don't want you to drown or anything oh no oh and i don't want you to drown jelly oh this is a disaster okay oh come over here oh no you're dying you're dying get out of the water get out of the water get out of the oh <gasps> jelly drowned jelly i was trying to get out but i was i was stuck on all these boxes over here otter otter you need to get out and jelly's dead now Sarah, what happened? Little otter friend, I don't I don't know if you can live here. I feel like like you might drown too. Cuz I uh, I know you can swim, but I don't think oh, I can't. I'm going to drown. Jelly, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Where is my lead? I had a lead for the little otter. Don't know where it is. I'm gonna try to get you out. I don't want our jellyfish Sarah to get out of here too. 
Come here. You troublemaker, you. All right, Otter. I think if I go up, they will... They will go up too. Uh, is it working? No. <laughs> uh, if I remove... Maybe you're stuck on a block. If I remove some of these... Oh my gosh. This is utterly, utterly, utterly... Uh, this is utterly ridiculous. There we go. Otter. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, but like, otter. <laughs> otter. There you go. We need to fix this tank. Poor Jelly. And it looks like Kondrick is doing okay in there. And Lance the Bass is doing okay in there. And it looks like Puffer's still in there too. So seriously, did the otter eat my fish that were in here? I think otter might have eaten my fish. Oh no! Otters can eat the fish that are in the fish tanks. So we'll have to keep that in. Be careful. Um, and looks like Sarah is still in there. Um, I guess we can give her her other friends because there were other fish in there. But but now there's an opening. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, there's there's been an o hello. I gotta be careful. I, I'm not. Should I be in charge of all these animals? <laughs> um. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh. Eros. How many animals are you gonna kill today? Okay. I'm not sure what I should name these guys. So maybe I'll give them temporary names. And if you guys can think of anything else, maybe we can name them. We'll, we'll do one of each color for now. And then maybe we can also have a jellyfish area where we have our amethyst shards and make a giant tank in there too for jellyfish. I think that may be really fun. Oh my gosh. I need help. <laughs> I need lots, lots of help. Okay. So we'll just name you yellow. And blue. And green. So if you want to give a name suggestion to say, name the green jellyfish this one or name the blue one. And we'll all know what that means. So <laughs> let's go ahead. I wonder if I should make an actual door to get into the the jellyfish tank because if I didn't break open the top before the otter would have never gotten inside in the first place and eat all of my fish so maybe I guess um uh, we'll just do like a wooden door for now and maybe we can come up with a better solution in the future but let's just go ahead and make one of these because everybody has a door in their fish tank right that's totally normal don't you? Oh my gosh! Why am I doing this? Why am I like this? Alright, does that mean you're gonna lose your name? Yeah, Bucket of Yellow. Are you still yellow? Alright, you're still yellow. Okay, you're still named. Sorry, I, I tested it out here. Oh no. Okay. 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 Ha 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 ha. Let's break this and <laughs> put a door in here. And I guess that works. That'll work. So we'll have an easy access to get in here. So Sarah, I'm gonna bring your friends in here too. And are you still named? All right, you're yellow and green. And we have blue. There you go, little guys. Little cute little jellyfish. Oh, this is nice. Oh. Am I drowning? Nope, they just they just um stung me. <laughs> it was just a love tap. But look at them! We got jellyfish! We got jellyfish, we killed jelly the cat. Oh my gosh, and they're stinging me. It's a good day. It's 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 a really really good day here in Animal Adventures. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Animal Adventures and I'll see you guys in another episode as we continue on our adventures. Oh, and I'm getting beaten up by the jellyfish and I'm about to drown. Excuse me. We're safe. Everything's fine. <laughs>